Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have so many different things to show you today, but I'm really excited. Some really, really good ones and just like makeup, shoes, everything. So let's start with Cajun shrimp. I ordered two bottles so I would not be without. This is one of my all-time favorite polishes ever and it's really good for toes, it's really good for fingers, and it's good all year round. So two bottles, backup bottles of Cajun shrimp and then I ordered two of these Clay de Peau lip glosses. So many people told me I needed to get these and the first one that came, I ordered from, I think Neiman Marcus, was the 201 Calanth Orchid. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. And this is the one I really thought I was going to like. But, I mean, it's not that it's not nice, but it's just, I don't know, it's just not like exciting to me. I mean, I do appreciate the color payoff and the tone of it, but I think I'm just in sparkle mode. If you haven't seen my video I posted on Tuesday, I will put that up here. When I get to the summertime, the spring and summer, I'm ready for some shimmer. I'm ready for the glow. I'm ready for the bronziness. And that color, I think, is more of my winter type shade. But I did get 303, something Magnifica. And that looks right up my alley. So today I have on that Saint lip that I showed you last week in my last Friday haul. Oh my goodness, I have already ordered two backups. When I showed that in the video, she messaged me, Kristen did, the next day and said, some people are saying they're not getting good payoff. You know, when something's in a pan, sometimes you have to press down and kind of break it up some and break the seal. As soon as I did that, it was like magic came out of it. It is so pretty. I think I have worn it every day this week. It is gorgeous. So I will put the link to that down below. It's very easy to order. It's very inexpensive and it's very beautiful and you will be helping out a stay-at-home mom of two boys. Just went downstairs to get this because I just had to show it to you. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I'm gonna put some of this on my hand. I always try to get your sparkles like at the top of your lip line because then that makes your lips look more full. And I think that is a winner. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was worth getting the one. You know what? I might give the other one to my mom because she may really love that. And I will say the consistency is beautiful. The next thing I've been excited to tell you about is this from Shantakai. And it is the HD Perfecting Loose face powder. My friend Kelly from Mommy's Makeup and Moscato, she has told us about this so many times, like on our group text. And what it is, is this concept. It's something that you can take with you. She is also oily skin like I am. She lives in Florida. So she's very familiar with the oily, mature skin and humidity and being out, not really wanting to touch up your makeup, but you hate to just have a oil slick on your face. She said, and it's true, you don't know how this sucker works, but it does. There's always just a little bit of powder in here and it's just perfect. And she said that her two young girls love to use it too. So this has been like one of those things I probably never would have ordered, but I have loved it. When you're doing videos, a lot of times, especially like I may do this video right now, and then later on today, I may do some of my try-on for Zara or another video that I have coming up. And my makeup, you know, I've had it on for hours and hours. That is when I really love this. I've been using it just to touch up that T-zone and I love it. Okay, here we go with another pair of cheap sunglasses from Amazon. I am so jealous of you if you have a normal nose. These do touch my cheeks, but I might have to suck it up and wear these to the pool or something. Look at these fabulous glasses. You know, I always say with these cheaper sunglasses from Amazon, they're real cheap. These don't feel real cheap. They don't feel as plasticky as the other ones do, and they look just like a pair of Tom Ford sunglasses. They are fabulous. They are so vibey and in right now. Even that little thing right there is so Tom Ford. No one would ever know. You could wear these on the streets of Milan or Rodeo Drive, anywhere, Paris, and someone would think you have on Tom Ford sunglasses. They are fabulous, but they do touch my cheeks. I've even tried to like bend 
the arms up, but I don't know if you'll be able to tell, just the tiniest bit of a curve and a tilt back, and I think that's what's messing me up, but honestly, guys, they're gorgeous. As soon as my daughter, Brooke, saw them, she said, are these Tom Ford? And I said, no, they are Amazon. She said, oh my God, you know, she noticed them too. So it just makes me so excited when I get to find something like this for you girls, because I know not everyone wants to spend big bucks on sunglasses. I wear the really cheap ones from Amazon all the time. And then I have some other ones coming up in some future like fashion videos, but love those. Super excited to show them to you. Something else, this is kind of like out of the blue. This is a bathing suit that John ordered from Amazon. I think it might be one of their brands. Wow, it looks like Quicksilver or something. As soon as he tried this on, he came up to my office and tried it on. I called Will up and had him pick out what color he wanted because these are so good. So John got a medium and he has big chest and muscles, but he has a smaller waist. He's like a 32 or a 33. And what he really liked about these is this. It has a hole fitted inside but on the inside of one of these is a pocket let's just say men when they're at the pool or at the beach they need that extra like lining on the inside because i don't think anybody wants to see through their bathing suit so we really liked it a lot and i told him i wanted to show it to you because it wasn't very expensive and it's the perfect like length. Let's go into fragrance. In PR this week, I got this fragrance, if I can open the box, from Skylar Fragrances or Skylar Beauty. This is a clean fragrance company. You can also get this at Sephora, which they are having their sale right now. If you didn't see my video, I just posted it yesterday. Actually, I used a lot of the makeup today. I used the new Guerlain Terracotta Foundation. I used the eye palette that I showed you. So I will post that video up here. This is their Lime Sands. Take a trip to the tropics as bright, energizing lime notes are balanced with fresh coconut water. Reminiscent of a tasty, refreshing margarita in a bottle, Lime Sands invites you to get lost in paradise and soak up the sun. Okay, at first when I got this, I thought, oh no, because I love their fragrances. But I, when I saw the lime, I'm not into fresh and I'm not into, I do like margaritas. I haven't had one in a very long time, but I do like margaritas. I liked everything, but I was scared it was gonna be just too fresh for me. You guys, it smells so good. Okay, the top notes are lime. So there goes your lime and it's gonna go first. It's your lightest molecule. That's what the top notes are and they are going to evaporate first. So the top notes are lime, sea salt, and verbena. The middle notes are lily of the valley, coconut water, and orange flower. Base notes, which are going to hold the longest, are driftwood, vanilla, and musk. So it is so good. It's got a deepness to it. You know what I mean? It's not just fresh and sharp. It's not one of those. Like if you like, I always say, poor light blue. I always use it so much, but it's very summery, but it is not sunscreeny at all. It's not bronze goddessy. It's not anything like that. It's coconut water, not coconut. So it's a, a big difference in that. It is fresh, but it still has some depth to it. Very daytime appropriate. I would not say it's necessarily a sexy scent, but it is very, very daytime pretty. Cannot imagine this getting on anybody's nerves. It's worth trying out. As it dries down, it may become a little bit more sexy, but I've already worn it the other day and I loved it all day. And you know that their scents are hypoallergenic, safe for sensitive skin, vegan, and cruelty-free. Okay, we're going to kick it old school with some Victoria's Secret and some Bath and Body Works. I don't know if I've been in these stores this year. I think the last time I went in Bath and Body Works was my fragrance escapade and then maybe Victoria's Secret too. But I wanna take up just a little bit of time and tell you a story because I know most of you here are around my age and I know how it is when we get to this point. So the other day I opened up my undie drawer and I thought to myself, I remember when I had all of these beautiful bras and all of these really pretty colors with matching undies and right there, in that closet downstairs, I thought to myself, why don't you now? Like, what's keeping you from 
having beautiful bras and beautiful undies right now. Nothing, but I had gotten into a little rut with comfort and not really caring. So I ordered some more bras that I will show you if you guys are interested. They're pretty practical, but they're very sexy and I won't be able to try them on because I think they're all sheer. I don't mind my boobs, but I don't want them to look any bigger. I'm not trying to push them up. I'm not trying to do anything like that. I basically am wanting to look like I don't have a bra on, but I do. That's what I'm going for. I'm going for the minimal. You know, this is my favorite bra that I've been wearing forever, but it's the Honey Love little crossover bra. And I do still sleep in these because I always sleep in bras. If you don't know if you're new here, I had a full mastopexy where I had a lift and I had my implants exchanged from saline to saline silicone and a totally different size and shape to fit my body a little bit better. So because of that, I want to preserve what I had done because it was not an easy surgery. And they said that I needed to sleep in a bra. So that's what I do. So that has been kind of like my go-to every day. So the other day I went in Victoria's Secret and oh, just looking at these make me happy. I'm not kidding. I asked her what was their most minimal unlined bra because I'd already walked around like in the pink section. I didn't see anything over there. I thought, you know, because that was the younger section, but see, it makes sense because when you're younger and you're in your 20s, you're wanting that push up. When you get to where I am, you're wanting minimal, but I still wanted something very pretty. So what she took me to, I ended up loving and I got the pink. It's the beautiful balconet. I do love the balconet where the straps come up on the side. I just think that's so pretty and you know it's not about John because nine times out of ten he doesn't see me I don't walk around in my bra and underwear because Will still lives here it's about me it's about a happy moment it's about feeling good you know within myself so I did it for me and I, I hope that you will too and I know that there is times that we think oh we don't need to do that you get to that practical mode and you're kind of like in a funk and I understand that too because I do get there but if you feel like I do and you miss the days of dot 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 think to yourself why can't I why am I not doing it I'm never going to be as young as I am right now next week is not guaranteed am I going to hurt anybody by doing this and go for it that's what I want to get across to you but look at how gorgeous this is, you guys. This makes me happier than a bathing suit for some reason. I love undies and stuff, and I just think it is so pretty. So this morning, I knew I wasn't gonna try these on for you because they are somewhat see-through, but I tried on this one, and I adjusted the straps and everything, and it fit like a dream beautiful. You know, the way it says push up without padding, I think it's just that little thing right here. I would say it's just foam and it's just to give you a little lift and that's because these are outside but it does not give you pushed up boob and it doesn't give you squished in boob so i just love it and then i got black they were 45 dollars. okay that's not crazy expensive i have spent more on a bra but i was in line and remember, go back to the Gap story that I told you about the Gap Cash. If you missed that video, I will post it up here about being able to give your Gap Cash away. So I was at the register and I had also gotten the matching undies for each bra. And the lady asked me, did I have any coupons? And I hear a voice to the side and she said, I do. It's only $25 off, but, and I look over and it is a girl. I think I went to junior high and high school with her every year. So that is seventh grade through 12th grade. Always the sweetest, like I have not seen her in I don't know how many years. So we got to talk and I got to catch up with her about her children and stuff. And I just thought, how sweet and how neat. When you put something like that out in the world, it comes back to you. I have given my stuff away and then here she was helping me and getting to reunite with a sweet face too. So it was just a wonderful thing. It was like a wonderful Victoria's Secret experience. And I'm glad, I'm proud of myself for doing it because I had gone to Gap and I was walking by there 
And I was like, yeah, and I went ahead and did it. So happy. I want you to do the same thing. Okay, then I went into Bath and Body Works because in the summertime, they come out with all of the good summer shower gels, candles, everything. And a friend of mine on Instagram told me that they even had some really good sunscreens. So I went in there and they had buy two, get one free. The first one I got is Waikiki Beach Coconut. Now this one I wore the other day. It is your classic coconut lotion. As soon as I put it on, I put it all over. I can't remember what video I was doing. And John comes out of his office. He's sneezing. His nose is stuffed up. He's allergic to it. So this will be going somewhere. And then today I have on Coco Paradise. This one is salted coconut, sugared neroli, and bronzed sandalwood. So this is more of your perfumey summer fragranced lotion. This one is more of your typical Bath and Body Works or after your bath. You know what I mean? Like more of a bath time scent. And this is tropical white coconut, saltwater breeze, sun bleached woods. So this one by far is your more adult, more perfumey type scent. I love it. I love it. So I have never gotten one of these, but I got the bar soap. And it says, feel fresh and clean with this nourishing cleansing bar. It was $8.95. Rich, creamy, fragrant, lathered, dermatologist tested, formulated without sulfates, parabens, and artificial dyes. And you know, if you're placing a Sephora order, the Moroccan oil soap it has been one of my favorites. I have gone through two bars. I'm finishing up one now and I'm going to try this and see. Someone asked me the other day, what was my favorite oud scent? The Moroccan oil, their oud scent. I have the hand lotion, I have the shower gel, and I believe I have the body lotion. That is so good. So if you just want to dabble into oud, <laughs> It's hard to say. It's very vibey, very sexy. You will love it. Okay, big PR box in the mail this week. I told John, I said, wow, I haven't gotten anything like this in a long time. And he said, you get PR all the time. And I said, I know, but years and years ago, PR was so extravagant. Do you guys remember when Tarte sent me the Easy Bake Oven? It was just really, really extravagant. And I don't need that, but it was just kind of shocking because I haven't seen it in a while. So here is the package and what they are promoting and celebrating here is the brilliant blends for lighter looks. Achieve delicate volume and length with a 60-40 blend of black and brown fibers to create the most natural glam. So what it is is four different styles of faux mink lashes and they are blended black and brown lashes. Now I have on a set today and I will put the name or the picture up here and what I did notice is the band is still black. And I don't blame them because nine times out of 10, if you're wearing these lashes, you probably have on some type of black or really dark liner. Well, I had gone with brown roller liner because I was thinking I was gonna do an all brown look for you. But I did have to end up putting some black in there to blend the band. But all in all, I love Lily Lashes. I love their little half ones. They're dreamy and sassy, I think. They're my favorite just because I have smaller eyes and I prefer a smaller lash. But I mean, I've been really, really happy with those. So thank you to Lily Lashes for thinking of little old me over here. I really appreciate it. And I, of course, I will link these down below. Okay, now this is something that was a bit of a surprise. I actually ordered these from Bloomingdale's. If you didn't see last Friday's video, I will put it somewhere down below. I had a big Bloomingdale's haul. I just got on their website. It wasn't sponsored. I just chose some things that I liked and I had ordered these, but these took a little bit longer for shipping. They are beautiful. They're Donald Pliner. So they weren't incredibly inexpensive, but they weren't as high as like Gucci or anything like that. But look at how beautiful these shoes are. What this is, of course it's a wedge sandal, but this gives you a very elevated look in a wedge. Because the heel is a little thinner and because they're all black and because this and this and this is a patent leather, this will enable you to wear a comfortable wedge with a black slip dress 
or something that is a little bit dressier. I tried these on yesterday for you and I loved them. They're beautiful. I love that they have just enough, little bit of a platform there. They're not bulky. It's kind of like this is your summertime black pump and they must not have nude or I would have gotten nude. I'm going to look on a different website and see if I can find these in nude because they would be the ultimate, but they're just gorgeous. Okay. My outfit of the day is such a fabulous surprise. My friend Kelly from Mommy's and Moscato, she was doing a lot of shopping on Amazon and she was saying what good things she found. And I was like, oh, can you please just tell me some of the name brands? Because when I try to shop on Amazon, I have a really hard time. It's just so much. And so she told me the name of this brand, which is Arabes, and I ordered two jumpsuits. I ordered this one and you guys, just amazing, amazing amazing. Honestly, when I first opened the box, it was so wrinkled that I thought it was going to be too small and I, I didn't have high hopes for it, but I had my daughter Brooke steam it. It was like one of those little things that you get the kids. It's like a washcloth and you put a drop of water and it comes like that. That's how it did. It just came to life. The straps are adjustable, so I did have to tighten my straps. You guys, this is like the ultimate layering piece. Even if you think that you wouldn't want a little opening like that, I promise it's in a good spot and you can take, oh, I've got two things I want to show you. Like this Gap little jacket. I mean, look how cute it is over this. So even if like you don't want to wear spaghetti straps or you don't want to show your arms and all of that stuff, or you're going to be in a place that's too cold, you will still love this. Of course, the white denim jacket is going to look beautiful. This little tweed jacket from Zara is going to look beautiful. I mean, look, even the little trench that we got a couple weeks ago is going to look gorgeous. Even this little top that I showed you from Zara. It's like a linen blend. Look how good it's going to look over this. Love it. And then you could even knot it, pull it up here. You could cut it off if you want to. This jumpsuit must have, let me go downstairs and you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put the other one on. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I am so glad that I tried this on for you. I think I may be a little too much woman for this one. I would size up in this one. I looked for the size on the tag and everything and I don't see it, but I will put an annotation here of what size it is. I would size up, first of all, this, and it, I don't have as much room through here. It's almost forcing me to wear a heel in order to get that flatness and that drape. Whereas the other one, I was comfortable in flip-flops. So this one I like, but the other one is definitely my favorite. Then I almost forgot to show you these, you guys. When I went in Victoria's Secret, I have seen these before and many of you have sent me the link to these when I talk about loving silky pajamas and they're folded up, you know, in sets. And I believe they're about $75. And the ones that I usually get, the Avery, they are a little bit over 100, I think. I think they might be 130. I was thinking, these just can't be that good. And I even asked her, are both pieces in here? Because it felt so thin. I was all prepared to tell you, these don't hold a candle to the Avery. Don't waste your money. I love them. I love them. I took them out last night washed them, dried them just to make sure they weren't going to fall apart. And then I wore them and I also got a new yoga mat to put in my bedroom because I need to do planks for my core strength, my stomach, like for my posture, basically. I had gotten to the point where I wasn't doing it because we don't have any carpet. I was having to go out in the living room if I wanted to do it. So I bought a really nice thick, soft yoga mat so that I can do my planks in my room when I'm doing my arm exercises. And so I'll link that down below because it's a good one. And I wore these last night and oh, they're so good. Now they are thinner than the Avery, but not in a bad way, in a good way. They fit well, they're pretty, 
And I'm sure a lot of you probably get Victoria's Secret coupons. Hopefully you can use that on these, but look how pretty. I mean, and then when I saw this, I was like, oh no, a drawstring. But then I remembered that the others come in with drawstrings too. I just take it out. It does still have the elastic. And I did get the small. I asked her what she thought I should get. She said small and I did and they're perfect. So loving these. I think they're so pretty. I put these on when I was downstairs because I knew they would look good with this jumpsuit. These are my just like go-to cheapy Amazon sunglasses. The jewelry I have on today is all Miranda Fry and they always run a really good sale, which most people do around Mother's Day, but I love those. I love the little necklaces. And then this little ring is really cool. It's really different. And then my nail polish today, yesterday I was at the pool sitting with my neighbor friend behind me and she had toes like this color. And I said, what is that color? Is that Tickle My Francie? And she said she didn't know. She just chose that it. it was actually a gel color. So I came home and painted my nails with the Tickle My Francie, which is a beautiful nude, beigey nude with a little bit of a purple tone. Just so pretty. So if you're into nudes, this could be a little bit, you know, funky. <laughs> a little bit of a funky nude. And I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you this weekend with my Zara video and hopefully I'll see you next week with my anthropology try on video because it is so pretty. It's so pretty. I've already placed my next order. I think you're going to love it. It's different. It's a different vibe than Gap or something, but that's why I want to do that. I want to show you different things. So thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you then. Bye-bye.